Well, I got in some new parts. Uh, there, this question has been raised over the years. I've bought bolts from McMaster Car that worked, that did the trick. Uh, I finally actually uh, dawned on me. I was like, oh, I can look them up uh, on a Nissan parts website and see by getting them. So I got two different versions. There is a slight difference between them um, and a slight price difference. At first I thought, you know, it was just one was dull and one was shiny. <laughs> but it uh, turns out that's not really the case. So let's, uh, the bolts we're talking about here, this is a Nissan hard body. This one's actually a 720 or 620 hub. But it's for the brake modification that I do for the old Kingpin trucks. You got to change out the hub because the uh, inner bearings weren't available. That was a big motivation for doing that. Plus, too, this setup fits behind stock steel rims, um, which which the other ones don't. Okay, so anyway, what we're talking about is these bolts that hold the rotor to here. When you go get your hubs used from the scrapyard, you can typically take all the bolts with you. Don't take the rotor. There's really no point because by the time you pay their price for the rotor and the core charge and the environmental fee and then have to go pay to have it turned it will cost you more than a new rotor will so just skip that so there's also videos on my site and channel on how to take these hubs off nice and quick and easy and separate these uh, if you got a cordless impact that makes this so much easier but anyway those are the bolts so uh, so for the dull ones and, and actually what the difference is, see the difference in head height there? I think they're, as far as I'm concerned, they're interchangeable. Uh, I don't, I can't imagine any reason why the height would matter. Okay, um, so if somebody knows different or finds out something, great. Let's, uh, let's hear it. So anyway, there's the stock number. There's the part number. 01125-00411 for the dull one. This one is just a little bit cheaper. Uh, I think it's right at two bucks. Might be like 209 and the other ones are 226 a piece, something like that. Uh, and you need 12 of them. That's a bag of 10 in there. So then this one, the shiny one with the taller head, is 01125-00131. And you can see that that's, they're pretty dang similar. You know, I mean, they're they're the same bolt. Thread pitch match up, everything like that. These, the shiny ones, see, if you compare the length there, they're the same too. Shoulder length's the same, stuff like that. The only difference is the head sticks up just a little bit more. No big deal, as far as I'm concerned. So, I was trying to grab <clears throat> extras at the scrapyard when I was, if, pulling hubs, and I haven't pulled hubs in a long time. But, uh, so you can get those off of the cars, too. All right, I've showed this before. Uh, a buddy gave me this years ago. Uh, and, and you can find them. They're, they're not exactly cheap. I want to say they're like 30-something bucks when I've seen them. But they're a real quick, easy way. I know they're an M10 by 1.25, so I'm just going to grab that one. And that's perfect. The, uh, like I said, I've got the specs on the site, or no, I email. Typically what I do is I email somebody the notepad file. It's just text saying, you know, the thread pitch and the size and how long they are. But all the ones I find through McMaster Car or anywhere else, uh, you have to get ones this short. You have to get them fully threaded. You can't get that shoulder there. And it's nice to have that shoulder where the, the rotor is, because if these were to get loosened up, that shoulder provides a better shear than the threads do.